that walking lead. Don't mind if I do. Hey, what's going on guys? Wingswin here and welcome back to another One Block Sky Block video and this is episode 2 and we have jumping horses. Woohoo! Well, I know what I'm gonna be doing for next half an hour. I 100% did not just spend 15 minutes playing with Jumpy right here, he may take a little bit of the break but he's always going to come back to the Jumping, uh, so obviously his name is going to be Jumpy from now on, and again I 100% did not spend 15 minutes jumping with a horse in Minecraft, and anyway, we're just going to let him do his thing, play with our little behind the fence chicken, and we're going to move on. You probably saw a little time lapse at the beginning. I basically did a little bit of the grinding of camera. Well, I kind of recorded it, so technically it's not really off camera. But we managed to get to the third phase, which is the snow biome phase, and we started to get some new things. You can see over here, we obviously got some uh, loot from the actual stray mob. I'm pretty sure these trays and the polar bears are pretty much going to be on the mobs we actually get in the third phase. And I am so, so glad because I'm so tired of the creepers. They blew this up like a few times and I'm kinda don't really want to use all the dirt just repairing this little platform. And I haven't really mined that many blocks, I got a lot of these snow blocks. And we only got like one or two lapis. Uh, or so it's not really that big of a deal. We are actually getting a lot of the iron right over here And you can see that we are actually getting a lot of the snow as well And no, I just hit the polar bear. Oh, this is going to be bad. I am so sorry. I didn't expect you were going to come Please don't kill me Did we just seriously kill the first polar bear that we got? I swear that was an accident I really didn't mean to actually hit him. I didn't even know if they were going to spawn Guess that answers my question but well, we got ourselves the first polar bear in the series, this is definitely the first polar bear and I'm really happy to see him, we are definitely actually going to keep him, he is playing with the jumpy, they seem to get along really nicely, but first polar bear, please don't, don't walk off, but please don't eat jumpy or the behind the fence chicken, I would highly appreciate that, I guess we're just going to let him kinda roam around a bit, and looks like he actually pointed to the chest, which is the next thing on the agenda. You can see we have a chest with few other resources, we actually have a ton of these spruce logs and trust me we're going to need every single bit of the wood that we can actually get. And they also smelted around maybe 64 cobblestone to get some of the different types of this stone because we are going to be making another platform and for this one I think we are going to start kind of going up. Although we do have the tree farm with the bridge kinda going up, essentially they end up in the same level and I think that we are gonna be maybe expanding this for different types of the wood, maybe the next episode because I don't really have saplings for anything other than the oak and the actual spruce, so we definitely kinda have to wait on that a little bit. You can see I have 40 of the spruce saplings and 24 of the oak ones and I don't really have anywhere to plant them. But we're not going to worry about that right now, I actually want to start a new little platform that's actually going to go kinda upwards to pretty much break up the flatness of these two platforms that we have and it's going to be like, kinda like an industrial uh, maybe district or something, I don't really know how we're going to call it, pretty much the place where we're actually going to have like automated farms and the thing that we're making in this episode which is going to be a giant mob farm. And I'm really excited for it, but it's going to take a ton of the resources, so I'm just kinda going to sort my inventory up, grab some of these stone blocks, and pretty much create a little staircase for the next platform. So I made a little bridge that definitely says an industrial district, we pretty much used all of the grey blocks that we had, and I think it turned out nicely, I kinda changed my mind building it a few times, so I scrapped the recording of it, but I also made a little platform where we're going to put the cobblestone generator, since this one is going to need a ton of it. Don't worry, this cobblestone generator is just here temporary, I need to grab a lot of the cobblestone so we can actually build a platform and work on the mob farm, other than that it's going to go straight away and we're going to get a new platform for it later on. So the actual construction of the platform began, but this circle is maybe like 13 or 15 blocks in diameter and I actually changed my mind. Instead of 13 to 15 we actually went to 45 block diameter of the circle, so you're going to see it in the next clip.
The main reason that I actually want to go bigger with the platform is because it looked a lot cooler and because we actually need a lot more space for the decoration of the mob farm that's pretty much gonna be happening in the next episode I believe. So instead of 15 block radius we have a 45, that's definitely going to give us a ton more space to work with. This is probably a good time to mention that this is actually a waterless mob farm that I'm going to put the link for in the description below. I pretty much saw this and I thought it was a perfect little mob farm for a skyblock so hopefully you guys are going to like it. Although this mob farm is really massive and it requires a ton of resources, it's actually really simple to make even in survival. One thing I would tell you is to grab 24 ladders in advance, just so you don't need to actually count any blocks. This is the first platform, so we're just going to construct a wall and move to the next layers. That's layer 1 down and we need to move on to the second one. I better hurry with the walls because they're not going to build themselves. Two layers down and two to go. On the way down to grab some more blocks I noticed a lot of the mobs and some really cool things like two endermen dancing their way to the dead on the rain. After that I just clear the mobs from the platform and continue work on the actual mob farm. What you're about to see is probably the hardest thing of this whole video for me, <laughs> finding a creeper while on ladder, making sure that it's not going to destroy anything. Ladders and I are probably not the best friends, but in the end I managed to defeat him. That creeper situation was definitely stressful, but we are moving to the construction of the third layer, we have one more after this. You can see we have a 2 block spawn radius for the mobs, and we have 3 block high walls over here, and we are going to see why later on. After all 4 layers were constructed, it was time to make a couple more platforms, making sure that we have 2 block gap between all of the platforms, that way the mobs can actually fall on. This is just going to maximize the actual spawning area for the mobs, which is ultimately going to result in a lot more drops. I was actually hoping for more mob drops, guess beggars can be choosers. After checking that everything was fine, I decided to actually head down and have a good night's sleep, which is definitely going to help us later on. I think I deserved a little bit of the rest, and we're going to continue off in the morning. Behold, the mob farm. Seriously? Behold, the mob farm that looks a lot better without that little cobblestone pimple and I think it kinda looks nice, we have like a hopper shape and I need to do a lot more work on it. If you were wondering how this mob farm works without water, where it's pretty simple, we are going to use a ton of buttons. The mobs actually see the buttons the same way as they see the actual trapdoors, a safe full block, and if you actually flip them they are just going to go straight down. So instead of the actual trapdoors that use a lot more resources, I'm using the buttons for these, and they're just going to think it's a full block and eventually just kind of gradually make their way down, even if they spawn on the top platform, and they're going to fall straight to this little call, where at the bottom we can collect the drops, or kill any mobs that, that survived using a little bit of the armor, if they actually spawn with it.
and we are almost done placing in all of the buttons there is definitely like a couple more of the layers that we need to do but nothing massive after this we are going to start with the roof so we can pretty much finish off the actual mob farm After another check to make sure that I placed the buttons correctly and that I didn't miss any spots, we can finally move on to the roof. Which we actually need to slab off because we don't want to have any mobs spawning on the top of the mob farm which is going to kill our raids down below. So you can use torches, you can use slabs, whatever you want, I decided to go for these slabs right now because torches are definitely a little bit harder for me to get. And the final thing we need to do for this mob farm is actually install the trapdoors over here where the mobs are actually gonna be dropping. In case that any of them actually survive, they're not gonna be able to kill us, but we're gonna be able to collect every single drop just by opening the trapdoors and walking in, which is pretty much perfect. After this, I pretty much decided to just kinda sit over here and watch because I have to admit it was pretty satisfying seeing all the drops and the mobs kind of falling down and collecting in the middle. I definitely need to do something about these trapdoors, I think kinda place them in the wrong order, we should be able to access the middle from three sides, right now I kinda did it wrong way around so I'm definitely going to fix that, but the mob farm is actually working surprisingly well, I didn't know that the rates are going to be this good, and we also got ourselves some new clothes, finishing the full set of armor, and I think it looks pretty nice if I do say so myself. I like it, it's shiny and it's definitely going to help us with the mobs. One thing I absolutely love about this mob farm is that occasionally we are going to get some endermen, but because we actually made a decision to make this island, I mean this platform a lot bigger, 45 block radius circle, built on a bottom half slab, they can't see any spots that are valid for them to actually teleport to, they don't see the bottom half slab as the valid place for them to teleport to, same way as the water, but this is a lot easier to actually build, instead of flooding the whole area, and now I'm really really glad that we made this a ton bigger, and I also need to actually put some walls over here, because I don't want to fall off myself. After smelting a little bit of cobblestone, we actually got just about two stacks of these stone brick walls, which actually wasn't enough. I kinda ran out halfway through, so I had to actually rebuild the actual cobblestone generated 3000. One more time, since I ran out of cobblestone pretty much, making sure that this platform is going to be big enough for the mob farm. I recorded a little time lapse, but you can see that I got corrupted video about three times in a row. My screen recorder kinda bugged out and I was getting the actual corrupted files a lot and it kinda set me back about 2 hours, but after that when I got it fixed I started working on a little platform for our cobblestone generated 3000, because it definitely deserved it. This time I made sure that I'm going to put in the walls immediately, since I'm working with this small of a platform I was probably going to fall off, better safe than sorry. Few decoration changes later, we ended up with a nice looking platform, I'm just going to add some torches because I don't want any mobs to spawn over here and limit our little mob farm in the back and it's definitely going to be nice in the night time if we are actually working getting some cobblestone. I didn't record it but we got our first two pieces of redstone in this series and I'm so excited, I actually killed the two witches for this and they don't really have a 100% rate drop but I'm going to keep my eye open to kill every single witch that I see, although two pieces of redstone can't really do much, it's not enough for any major farms or anything like that, but I'm excited to actually see it, and I can't wait to actually get a ton of redstone and maybe work on some other redstone projects, which is definitely going to be really fun, 
but I'm just going to sleep over here and just kinda check the actual mob farm because I want to show you guys the little bridge that we have and don't worry we're gonna be pretty much moving this cobblestone generator on the platform right there you can see immediately we are getting a lot of the bones I think we may be close to two stacks of the bones but you can see this bridge is pretty basic we are just kinda working with what we got and to be honest we don't really have that much stuff but let me grab that cobblestone generator and install it right here on this platform because it took a long time to actually make the platform. One thing that would definitely help with the cobblestone generator moving is the actual pickaxe and you can see I'm trying to keep myself organized in the beginning because if I just kinda let it go I am never going to get this stuff organized. We have a nice chest for like the uh, stuff that we crafted the wood, we have one for the mob drops and we have one for like the logs and the planks but let me move this right now. Guess I need to use some polished bird poop for this splash of color because this build is really really grey and it's kinda messing with my eyes. Well, that looks like a ton of mob drops and every time I just kind of walk from bridge to bridge, from platform to platform, this pretty much fills up and I'm really happy with the amount of stuff that we are actually getting and don't worry, I'm going to show you the actual finished cobblestone generator right now and look at that, we can't even leave it for one second and you may see a little glimpse of it, I think it turned out really, really nicely, I pretty much left the lava kind of open, I think that looks really nice, it's another splash of color because this build was really grey that's exactly what the bird poop, polished bird poop stairs actually do. This was really great, so the orange and the white actually kinda break it up nicely and I really like it. I of course did a little bit of the decoration inside as well. Well, we just put a couple of the buttons to stop the water and this is going to pretty much be the spot where we're gonna be getting the cobblestone. I actually had to make it a little bit taller because of the actual wood. I didn't want anything to set on fire and I still wanted to be able to actually walk in it to have this little orange accent as well and I think it turned out really nicely hope you guys will let me know what you think of it in the comments below but I also decorated the sides over here with some underside and stuff like that you can see we have uh, the uh, smooth uh, stone slabs over here just kind of in a zigzag pattern and over here uh, this was just a flat cobblestone wall so I used a little bit of the underside some polish underside to pretty much make it a little bit more presentable and over here in the end I did the same thing if I can jump uh, this over here is the accent with the water but I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be able to see that later on but it's nice to actually know that it's there at least and I'm pretty happy with this, I have a little thing that I want to try out in the top, so let me work on that. And I present you the Cobble Gen 3000. Let me know in the comments which one you actually like better. This one. Or this one, it pretty much has the corners filled in for C, O and G I believe it was. It's not really that big of a deal and that big of a difference. But if you guys actually have a better font that I can use, let me know in the comments. But make sure it's actually 5 blocks high and 3 blocks wide. If you guys actually have like a picture or something, I'm pretty sure you can link it with some sites in the comments. 
or if you want to actually ping me on the Twitter, you can go in the description below and you're going to have the link for my Twitter where you can send me some pictures. But I absolutely love this sign, I love how it turned out and I'm thinking that we, maybe we actually want to pretty much mark every single build that we do because that sign is going to be visible from absolutely everywhere and don't worry we're going to be taking care of this platform that it's not just going to stay as cobblestone and of course we're going to take care of the actual mob farm later on. But I absolutely love that sign as I said, hopefully you guys like this. Might put a poll on the screen if you actually don't get any new font suggestions so you guys can vote on, on this one or the previous one that we had although again it's not really that big of a difference it looks absolutely amazing and i absolutely love this i guess i'm going to spend a little bit of time mining doesn't this look fancy we are all covered in shiny shiny gold i got some skeletons and a couple of the zombies that drop this armor although it's broken it looks really really nice I am honestly trying to stay organized but it's sometimes actually hard, you can see we have a ton of the dirt and this is pretty much all like nature kind of chest and over here we have a lot of the mob drops, we almost have two and a half stacks of bones which is pretty crazy, I'm actually going to move this chest as well because we are kinda almost done with the mob farm, well we have the actual functional part installed and I can't wait to actually decorate the mob farm, I think it's going to look absolutely amazing, but right now I kind of want to dig a bit more and maybe get into the next phases and what is that guy doing up there? Those wandering traders spawning in the most random spots ever, I mean, who spawns on top of a tree? I guess maybe someone like me, a bird would, but I spent a bit more time mining over here to pretty much get to the next phase and I got a really surprising chest which is going to help us a ton and you're going to see it right now. Just look at this chest, we got a pumpkin, a ton of bones, we kinda don't really need all of the bones since we have a mob one, but the iron is highly appreciated. 13 iron, we may even be able to fully automate the mob farm. And on that good note, on that amazing chest, I think we're gonna have to wrap up the video over here. I'm really happy with the amount of the stuff that we managed to get done. We got the Global Gen 3000, we got the mob farm and this massive platform over here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, thank you for 4000 subscribers. I failed to mention that at the beginning of the video. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new. If you think any of your friends would enjoy this type of content, make sure to share with them. But as always, I really hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.